I'm about to be all shy by keeping the laws. Black man. <laughs> I didn't realize I was hitting this yeah. down. <laughs> first, uh, first Thessalonians uh, 4, 8. He therefore that despises, despises not man, but the most high. Kind because of, all we're doing to you is reading the, the scriptures and breaking it down for you. Who hath also given us his Holy Spirit. Kind of, so we received the Holy Spirit from Yahweh, okay? Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, we received the spirit of the truth. So. Who gave us that spirit the most high? So, you know, when you come up and scoff, you know, make little comments or whatever, you don't despise us, you despise the correction that the most high is trying to give you. So, it, it basically, if that's your attitude, the most high is going to deal with you uh, uh, righteously by destroying you and, and marking you for death. That, that's it. That's all, that, that's all that's left for, for to be done. It's for you to die, man. Death pending. Corinthians, like uh, Colossians 3 and 25, but he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he hath done. All right, so if you want to live according to the world, okay, or Esau's world, and, and have this party lifestyle, carefree, then the most eyes are going to destroy you, man. I mean, it's that simple. Nothing difficult. Read that again. It's uh, Colossians 3 and 25, but he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he hath done. Con, so if you want to follow after the works of Esau, not get yourself right, you're going to receive for that for that wrong. Just like Esau, man. Esau is going to be completely annihilated after he serves a, a period of a thousand years of slavery. But his kingdom is at its end. All right, so there's really no reason why you should be trying to obtain after this uh, uh, so-called American dream and wealth and success when you gotta sell out to get there anyway, and you gotta be like the so-called white man, you gotta be a demon, all right? To, be, to make it in this society, you gotta be a demon, all right? We're gonna receive our kingdom through through endurance, man. Through through proving ourselves acceptable on the side of the Most High, and doing our, doing our, our best to. You know. It's uh, Colossians four. Five. Walk in wisdom toward them that are without, redeeming the time. Come on, read that again. Uh, Colossians 4, 5. Walk in wisdom to them that are without, redeeming the time. Yeah, redeeming the time. Saving the time, all right? Considering. Yeah, considering. Good word, good word. Yeah, come on. It says, uh, wait, read that again. It says, uh, Colossians, you know, these two thirds and shit, you know. Uh, Colossians 4 and 5, walk in wisdom toward them that are without. Meaning, be an example of the unbelievers to yeah. unbelievers. Yeah. That's plain. Why is the circle around this stone? Yeah. Redeeming the time that we are in slavery. You know? Exactly. <laughs> That's the time we have, the time of the Israelites' captivity in, uh, in the great Babylon. You know? That's the time. We're redeeming. We know, we know where we're at. Yeah, yeah. Basically, we're using our time wisely, you know? We're spending it trying to serve you how about Shimmy you know? Not not giving in to, to the to the world. You know? so, we're not wasting our time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we're redeeming it, you know. You know, we're considering that, well, America's about to be destroyed, right? <laughs> Concentration camps are on the way. Chip is on us. Uh, we're preparing ourselves for that. Yeah, Mentally, spiritually. Yeah. To be saved from that. You know, and hey, let me say this. If the Lord put us in the situation. Where, where it, it, you get caught up and, and, and Esau come to you and try to give you that chip, take that. But you just should live by faith, by his faith, you know? You know, that's why the Lord also said, be faithful unto death. Because, you know, the, the Lord might have some brothers die, man. It's, I mean, hey, that's all I can say about that. You know, but you gotta send up the prayers, all right? Pray that the Lord give you the strength to deal with, with that, that particular moment if it comes. Lord willing it though, you receive your salvation in the chariots. But, you know, hey, some of us might go through a lot of hell, man. But that's why we have our, the comforter and, and we, we have the acknowledgement of what's going on, man. If you do get in a predicament like that, you already know the deal. 
You know, you know we're gonna be set up and established if you do gotta if you do gotta die, man. You know you're gonna come back as a king. You're gonna come back with power. You know, because you you stood faithful for your house, Bashim Yahweh Shah. Alright? So be faithful unto death. Because these hard times are coming, man. I know it, yeah, hey, it seemed like it's not. But it is, man. Uh, I'll wait for it. Though it tarry, it shall not tarry. You know? Because we're on the Lord's time. You know, this is part of that endurance and patience. We gotta be patient. Haste not above our maker. Lord wants it more than everybody, man, to come. But he's bound by his works. So, Second Timothy's uh, 2 verse uh, 22. Uh, Nevertheless, the foundation of the Most High standeth sure, having the seal, the seal that the the Lord knoweth them that are His. Yeah, that, read that again. Second uh, Timothy two and nineteen. Nevertheless, the, the foundation of the Most High standeth sure. The foundation of the Most High standeth sure. What's our foundation? This word. So this word standeth sure. Linking right up with uh, Isaiah fifty five. Romans, the third chapter, what a son did not believe, which had a faith in the Most High. You know, hey, it's not going to go without effect. So this is our foundation. It says, having the zeal, the seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. And let everyone that name with the name of Yahweh Shah depart from the iniquity. Con, so, I mean, it, it comes boils down to this. If you have the knowledge and the truth, you stay away from sin, all right? Don't break the law. Don't think that you can do whatever you want. You got to get yourself right and in order for the second coming, man. Or shall I say for the return of Yahweh Shai. And that's what, that's what we do. That's, that's our job, all right? That's our job to get ourselves right and in order, okay? And establish ourselves in the word to, uh, as a matter of fact, give me our uh, second Timothy's, the, uh, Fourth chapter, I believe. Oh no, you know what? Excuse me, Second Timothy's. Actually, were you in you were in Second Timothy, weren't you? Start. What do you got? I just gotta look. Alright, read it quick and then. Just gotta go to the book. Still the book you're saying. This is uh first Maccabees uh chapter two verse fifty-one. Go ahead. Uh verse uh, fifty actually. Now therefore my sons, be zealous for the law, and give your lives for the covenant of your fathers. Call to remembrance what acts our fathers did in their time, so shall ye receive great honor and an everlasting name. And then it goes on to some list of people that this has happened. It's verse 52. Was not Abraham found faithful, full intention, and it was imp imputed unto him for righteousness? Joseph, in the time of his distress, kept the commandment and was made Lord of Egypt. Phineas, our father, in being zealous and fervent, obtained a covenant of an everlasting priesthood. Jesus, for fulfilling the word, was made a judge in Israel. Caleb, for bearing witness before the congregation, received the heritage of the land. Right, so well, the brother's basically going into, all right, the word is going into how, you know, those chosen men stayed faithful and they received a reward for it, man. And that's what the Lord's gonna do with us if we stay diligent and faithful. Y'all brothers out there that are doing the will been doing the will. You know? There's a reward for your for your faith. There's a reward for your uh, for your works. God, I, I just want to read from 51 again. Just it says uh second Maccabees or first Maccabees 2 and 51. Call to remembrance what acts our fathers did in their time. So shall you receive great honor in an everlasting name. So we, we're not to sell out to the society to short live a dishonor. Because basically that's what it is, a this dishonor. Said an everlasting name. This said an yeah. everlasting name. I believe it's uh, Zechariah. I believe it's Zechariah where it says to wait on the Lord. He's going to put us, a, uh, give us a praise in a name and all, throughout all the earth. Is it Zephaniah? Yeah, yeah, Khan, Zephaniah 3, I believe like 6, right around the 16th verse. Genesis 15 and 4. As a fact, you're still holding some of And behold, the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, This shall not be thy heir, but he that shall come forth out of thy own bowels shall be thy heir. And he brought him forth abroad and looked, 
toward the heavens and tell look toward the heavens and tell the stars if they'll be able to number them. And he said unto him, So shall thy seed be. And he believed in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, or Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, and he counted it to him for righteousness. Oh, oh man. Oh, it's like 